On this episode of AC Designs Garage, I'm going to show you how not to MIG weld. Or at least how to identify your mistakes so you can fix them. Coming up. Alright guys, here's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be setting up a bunch of different uh, things that can go wrong a lot with beginners and stuff and stuff you can forget and I want you to be able to identify them on a the metal by how they look or how it sounds and and if you can identify these you can correct your problems really these are mostly common mistakes just like the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do no gas low gas about the same. I'm not going to adjust my gas down it's going to do about the same bunch of porosity I know what it's going to do but there's a lot of times you can jump in this and you start welding and you're going to see it you're like oh man I forgot to cut my gas bottle on so number one is going to be no gas Number two is going to be wire feed speed slow and wire feed speed too fast. And you'll see what that does. If it's too slow, you'll be able to identify that. Also, we're going to do the voltage too low and voltage too high and electrode stick out too short and too long. Mainly too long is going to be your problem. The only problem with getting too short is you'll burn up the, the tip of your electrode. I'm probably not going to get in down there because it's going to weld pretty good, but it's going to burn that tip all to pieces. So we'll probably just show you the long on this. And uh, number five, the gun angle too steep. We're going to have that thing laid way back. And all these are going to be to extremes, but maybe it'll help you guys identify it. And what I've done was I took a piece of, uh, it's probably three eighths plate here. And each one of these is going to be each one of these. So we're going to do the no gas, and then it's going to be too slow, too fast, too low, too high. And you can see it. And I'll put it down here on the screen somewhere as each one of them. I'm trying to give you a good arc shot. I'm going to set up my helmet like I do a lot of times so let's get this thing set up and start doing a little arcing and sparking all right as for settings my settings are going to be about normally what I would be at this if we was welding it so I've got it on about 70 on the wire feed speed and four on um, this older machine don't show really the volts and stuff it just has like just numbers that you can reference by but you can go by watch and sound and stuff and hear what you need if you need to add more volts or not but this is just a 20 some year old machine so it don't show the volts and stuff but i'm just gonna do it on my normal settings and uh we're just gonna get started all right guys first round's gonna be no gas this thing's gonna spit and sputter and it's gonna be full of porosity so get suited up we're ready to go no gas this ought to be fun Alright guys, as you can see right here, this is no gas, and it is just full of porosity. So if it starts making that horrible sound, almost sound like flux core really, but it starts making that horrible sound like that, smoking, and you see a bunch of these big wormholes come through it, you probably need to check your gas. See how it cratered out there at the end? So that's the no gas situation. So next we're going to go to wire feed speed too slow on the line right below it. So let's get set up for that. All right, guys, now we're going to crank the wire feed speed too slow. So let's go ridiculous. We'll go down to, let's cut her down to 15. Still on the same on the voltage. So see what she does. All right, I bumped her up to 30. So let's try this one more time. Try not to burn up my new tips. I ain't got so many of them. Wire feed speed too slow, take two. guys there's wire feed speed too slow you saw how erratic the arc and stuff was and it was dropping off when I get my arc shot you'll really be able to tell how bad it is but yeah that, that's the too slow and it'll be the total opposite this thing will build up like crazy when I go too fast and that's what we're gonna do next so this one here is your wire feed speed too slow we're gonna go to wire feed speed too fast down here on the blow it all right, now we're on about 25. Let's go to, shoot, let's swing for the fences, son. Let's go on up about 
Eh, we'll go 80. See how 80 does. That sounds like a good round number. Wire feed speed too fast. Let's make it just a little more faster. We're gonna crunk her up about 90. Oh shoot, yeah, let's do 90. Yeah, we got a good and tall now. All right, there's wire feed speed too fast. Man, it's kind of hard to say. But you can see how high it built up. Let's see if I can get down here. She's built up like super. Here's the tip that I fried. I mean, those beads are almost as tall as the tip is. Way too tall. It peaks up like a triangle almost. But yeah, that's what it looks like if it's way too high on the wire feed speed. It just stacks on top of the metal and it's really not burning in. Yeah, you can see how high that's built up. Let me get this other brushed off so you can see it a little better. Yeah, that's where we're at now. We're no gas. Wire feed speed too slow and wire feed speed too fast and then wire feed speed really fast. So next we're going to go right here is going to be voltage too low. Then we'll go voltage too high. Alright, voltage too low. We're going to drop her as low as we can. Alright, here we go. Voltage too low. Nice all right guys there it is voltage too low i did notice as it got towards the end as the metal started heating up it started wanting to go a little bit but it's still way too low look how it just balls up looks like junk get over here. see it you can see how it just builds up real tall and spitting and sputtering and just looks like junk If you notice, get you up here. Up here was the wire feed speed too slow. If you'll notice, it has a lot of the same characteristics as the voltage being too low. So a lot of this stuff plays in together. So if you can get them both tuned in, it's just a, just practice. You can't go wrong with practice, guys. Get you a bunch of scrap and just burn it up. But yeah, that's that's voltage too low. I think I'm gonna I got O23 in here, so I can't jack it too high. I think I'm gonna bump her on up to a five on voltage too high. And we'll see. Let's check this out. Uh, voltage too high. Five probably gonna melt off here. She's gonna be cooking at five. I don't know. Yeah, we'll try five. I mess up. I got two more tips up. So I mess them up. It's for you guys. I'll sacrifice them for you guys. All right, guys. Voltage too high. We're gonna be throwing some smoke up in here. It's gonna burn, burn this mug down. We'll see. As you can see this one this is the voltage too high you can see it was just little droplets and it was just melting off back up in the tip and just dropping down on it way too high 
All right, now we're gonna do electrode stick out too long. I'm not gonna do short because I have already sacrificed one of my good 023 tips. Believe it or not, this thing has been in here a year or maybe longer than that, but it's gonna go in the little coffin of dead consumables, but yep. So we're not gonna do too short because this is basically what it will do to it. So we're gonna do too long. I'm gonna stick that mug out. Look like our whip antenna sticking off the back of the four wheel drive truck here in a minute. We're gonna stick her up about four inches and we're gonna make sparks fly. So here we go. I'm gonna start down closer to the material and then come up as we go just to see how far it'll go before it just stops welding. So I'm gonna start normal and then it come off of it. All right, the electrode stuck out too far. If y'all got some mess looking like that, you need to get down closer to the material. If you notice down here, it started okay, but then I started raising it up off of it as it went down. I got when I got to here, it was two inches at least. I guarantee if we grind the top off this, it'd have stuff in it, but you can see the little worm holes in it and stuff right in there. and. Yeah, that's all around bad. So if you got a situation looking like this that it's dancing around, spitting and sputtering, got holes in it, your electrode's way too far off of the off the material. All right, guys, we got one more in this uh, five top tips of how to fix your welds here, and it's gonna be gun angle too steep or too much angle on it. So. It's gonna be, I'm gonna move it down a little bit. I'm gonna do it on this one here. And we'll, basically what we're gonna do is, I usually like to do about 15 degrees or so, like that, about 3 16 of an inch or so off of it and a 15 degree, we're gonna take this thing and we're gonna layer it way back until it just starts shooting catfish whiskers everywhere. But all right, let's get this angle all tore up. Like I said, we're gonna go from about here to wham. Something like that. All right, guys, we're gonna do gun angle way too steep. So we're gonna take it from our normal run here. We're just gonna drop her on over. So here we go. Thing leaned over a whole lot more than I thought it would. We had her way back there. All right, I'll get her brushed off. All right, guys, there she is. Boy, she put all kind of porosity up in there. Big old worm holes all in it. You can tell out here to the end where I really got her laid back and it just started jumping all over the place. It really looks similar to the electrode stick out too far. It really does. I mean, I guess it does. Because as I was going, I had my normal angle and I just kept laying it back. And I got back to here and that thing was almost plumb laid out. It was almost like this at, the, at one point. I guess when you lean it back and you get away from it, your electrode's getting further away from the material just like as if you had the correct angle pulling it off this way. So that's a lot of the stuff that you can look for. All right, now I'm gonna try to actually lay a decent looking bead here. And I hope it turns out good <laughs> because the rest of this does not look good. So we're gonna try to stack you one up. It's a little harder to stack a real pretty weld on just a flat coupon. It's better to have a groove or a T-joint or something like that to where you can wash it down and make it look good. But I'll try to weld up a decent one for you here. So here we go. Better, but 
but not shabby. All right, guys, here's the one that should have been right. Now, I'm on a thick 3 8 plate, so it's, good. it's a little built up higher than I'd want if we was welding something together. But we're just looking for consistency, and I started out till it got some heat in here. As you notice how it's kind of skinny and built up. I kept the same speed through here, but as it got more heat into the material, it kind of set down just a little bit. But it's a little harder to weld on top of a flat coupon, so don't get discouraged if you're welding on top of a flat coupon and it, it just don't stack up or lay down like you want. Because anytime you put like a butt joint or T joint to where you got a place for the weld to sink down in and really look good or tubing or whatever you're doing, it looks a lot better. So get you a bunch of this flat stuff and you can keep burning this stuff and make it thick as you want to. But yeah, that's a, I set that one at three and 70. Now I'm running an 023 wire, which is not big enough for this three eights, but this is just demonstration purposes. But yeah, make sure you go check out my, uh, welding how to mig and tig playlist i got tons of stuff on there for the beginners on anything from sheet metal to how to stack dimes on plate or just basically how to get started maybe help you guys out a little bit yeah that's her there all right guys hope y'all enjoyed that little video on how to stack up some nasty welds and hope this right here will uh kind of help you guys be able to determine if you're having any issues with welding whether your wire feed speed's too high voltage you know go back check the video out and watch the examples here and maybe you'll be able to tune your machine in a whole lot better and get you guys to burning and stacking some dimes and remember guys be kind to one another jesus loves you so do we god bless we gone